Hi everybody, it's Eric Tremblay from the Engineering Teaching and Learning Team and I'm going to be doing a quick video here on student and instructor challenges. So by the end of this video you'll have an idea of you know what situational factors are involved in being a student, how it's going to change in a remote teaching context, and also it's important to highlight that instructor challenge has changed as well. Okay, let's have a look. All right, let's start with the student experience. We want to be student-centered as instructors, and this is the what we need to think about when we approach our teaching for sure. So increased challenges, students are certainly going to have them. The first is internet instability. So there's going to be all kinds of variabilities in their locations and even their mobility during the semester. And so in remote teaching settings, I think we can certainly see this as an increased challenge for many students. There's going to be an increase in collaborating with their peers, of course. Their peers won't all conveniently be located on campus or very close to campus they'll have an extra buffer there in dealing with folks that are geographically distributed. They're going to be navigating a high degree of change in student supports. Now this is pretty natural. Many of the university student supports are adapting to remote teaching and that means that there's going to be changes in how they do business and students are going to have to navigate that. And then of course there's going to be just sort of this baseline stress due to the pandemic realities affecting their personal lives. Uh, their summer jobs may have been affected and also their ability to work during the semester may be affected. So not only is their personal lives affected but perhaps their financial situations are affected too. And then an increased cognitive load due to tons of web conferencing events. So there's going to be some pressure on them to do a lot more live web conferencing events in this semester, in this follow-on semester, than there is in past semesters. And I think this is going to certainly take its toll. And then an increased geographical distribution. I've already talked about this. It's a so-called time zone effect. So some students will be very disadvantaged by the fact that they may be located in time zones that are very distal to the one located here in Kingston. And lastly, a requirement to be intrinsically motivated. So this is a lesson that we've learned from two decades of online learning. Those people that are in online learning courses that do the best are those that have a high degree of intrinsic motivation, sort of baked into their character. We're removing some of that structure of meeting three or four times a week with your students. And so those people that are motivated by that extrinsic factor are going to need a little bit more support, a little bit more structure. Okay, now I want to highlight the top five here. The top five stressors or increased challenges, these apply equally to instructors. So it's important to understand that you as an instructor are going to be faced with some increased challenges. Not only the top five you see here, but there are more. So I'm just going to take these five here and I'm going to park them in the corner of the next slide. This is what I think that you might also be facing in addition to that. Now the time zone effects, you know they exist. It's now your job and the teaching team's job to try to manage these time zone effects. So that's a new job for you. Managing TAs remotely is also going to be an increased challenge. More of the TAs are going to be geographically distributed. This idea of managing effectively remotely is going to be a real issue. And using new workflows for remote proctoring. A remote proctor is something that we're only using in fully online courses in the past, but finding ourselves at scale remote teaching means that we're going to have to get these remote proctoring workflows installed at scale, and all of us will have to learn them. Staying connected with students during remote teaching is going to be an extra challenge. The guidance that we're trying to push out is the idea that if you are meeting with your students, let's say three or four times a week, you try to reduce the number of synchronous interactions to give them a lot more flexibility. And this means your ability to stay connected with students is going to be challenged a little bit, or at least it's going to be changed from your previous practice. And then one of the signature pedagogies in engineering, of course, is our group learning experiences, our ability to work as a team. And now you're going to be faced with this extra challenge of designing effective group learning experiences for students in a remote teaching context. Not easy. And this includes labs and tutorials as well. And then you're naturally going to have to apply some new approaches, learn some new tools for remote teaching. So this is going to make the instructor experience in a remote teaching setting be quite challenging. Well, there you have it. There's my quick couple of slides on the challenges. And I uh, hope you have a better understanding of the breadth of those challenges, both for students and for instructors. How, we, how do we come to grips with those challenges? Well, there's other videos and other resources that you're going to find right here on adapting remote teaching web pages. But another way to do it is engage in conversation. Communication is really our, our sort of strength here. So talk to your colleagues in the department, talk to the staff in the engineering, teaching and learning team, and they'll help you brainstorm and start to formulate ideas on how you can meet those challenges in your courses in a remote teaching fashion. Okay? Thank you.